So Joe, Dr. Keto, uh, why is having fruit so bad for you about keto? So fruit is considered natural and, and the sugar in fruit is considered natural. Uh, the only problem with fruit, fruit over the last thousand, two thousand, three thousand years, we've, we've slowly made it sweeter and sweeter. So if you look at like the original apples, like the, I think it's called the uh, British Cox, it's yeah. small, scrawny, it's, uh, it's not sweet, it's uh, tangy. Okay. And, then, and then now you look at the fruit in the supermarket, big, red, you know, uh, delicious looking, and full of sugar apples. Um, because what we've done in the last hundred years, we've genetically modified them, we've uh, selectively bred them to make them sweet and sweeter because which one are you going to pick, you know? Are you going to pick in the supermarket the British cock, scrawny little thing, or are you going to pick the big juicy one from South Africa? You're going to pick the big juicy one. So the problem with fruit now is just way too much sugar. So what fruit can you actually eat? Um, you avocados. Eat. Avocados is one of the best ones. I eat loads of avocados. Bananas. Uh, bananas. Green bananas are okay uh, but you want to stay away from them because what happens with bananas as they ripen, uh, the resistance starts inside it turns into sugar. So bananas are now way too sugary. Uh, so you don't definitely don't want to eat oranges. 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 They're just too, they're just sugar. Okay. Sugar. Uh, I know fruit has some vitamins, but you, the the sugar here is just too big. Uh, you can have berries. You can have is it blackberries and blueberries, strawberries, strawberries and things like that. But again, you want to limit them. Maybe five or ten or you know that kind of stuff. What about yogurt? Yogurt, so you want to eat, uh, so if you're not dead, de lactose intolerant or dairy, you know, you know, you haven't got any problem with dairy. With yogurt, you want to go with full fat. Yeah, so stay away from yogurt that's got, you know, flavors added to it. Stay from yogurts that are low, low fat or zero so fat. Yogurt that added sugar. No added yeah, because what they do, they still got to make that the zero fat yogurt uh, taste nice. So they add other things to it. And the best bit about the yogurt is the fat. So they're taking that bit out and putting some shit in it and then selling it to so you. So how can the fat be good for you? Because, because our bodies need fat. So we live in this, this thing called the standard American diet or the standard Western diet. And in the standard Western diet, it comes from the model that fat is bad for you. And so what's happened is the standard Western diet is now very deficient in good quality fats. So the reason we have all these metabolic disorders, all these wet lifestyle diseases, is because one of the reasons is because there isn't enough good quality fat in the standard Western diet. So someone could have a bowl of yogurt with strawberries. Yeah, blueberries. Yeah, again, again, yeah, but again, you don't want to put too many in there. You don't want to be like, you know, like a whole bowl of yeah. uh, blueberries. Just five or ten. You don't need many. But yeah, you could do that. Uh, if for breakfast or wherever, or as a dessert, even yeah, you know. So, but yeah, stay away from anything that says plant based. Stay away from anything that says low carb or low fat or zero fat or you know when any of those labels are rubbish. And anything that says vegan, stay away from it. Generally, none of that stuff is good for you. All right, thank you, Jake.